Hi there, this is Fred, FR5ED, with the Silent Five, here for Craft Beer Adventures, uh, with another beer review. This one is Mission Brewery out of San Diego, California. This is their Shipwrecked Double IPA. Pretty cool label. Weighs in at 9.25% ABV, not a lightweight. And it has a commercial description <clears throat> that goes this way. A style of beer curiously born on the foggy shores of Father Junipero Serra's first founding mission. Our own vigorous entry is one rebellious IPA, quick on the trigger, and brimming with a bounty of hop ingenuity. This is a big, bold, brazen beer, a restless vision of a new America. Those are some, some bold words there. Some good marketing hype. Doesn't tell me anything about it. Um, it rates a 92 overall out of uh, 496 reviews here on Rate Beer, but only a 58 in style. I don't know why that disparity. Um, but anyway, that's what it is there. Over on Beer Advocate, comes in at 84, which is good, but that's after 863 ratings. Um, so anyway, that, that's how the ball bounces there. Let's open it up and give it a a fair shake ourselves and as always by ourselves I mean myself all right here we go oops you may notice the lacing in the glass from the previous beer that I just reviewed I didn't bother to go rinse my glass just for the sake of time expediency okay this is a little hazy it's a medium orange color more what I would expect from a double IPA, just a one and a half finger, pretty dense, pretty dense off white head there. And as I said, it, it, there's not much carbonation. I kind of like that, you know, reminds me of a good cask uh, version of a, of a, of an ale. But anyway, um, that's how it looks. Let's give it a smell. That's different. It's, it's very malty, for one thing. I'm getting mostly malt. And I'm not really getting cit citrus. I'm smelling the alcohol, I, I, so I'm getting malty alcohol so far, or alcoholic malt, one or the other. I do get, a, I'm sorry, I do get a little bit of orange in the background there. But I'm getting more bready malt, not even so much bready malt, just more of a, a dry, can't just say malty malt. I hate to say I'm getting a, a little, a little bit of an acetone smell, which sounds very negative. Don't mean it that way, I'm just telling you what I smell. We need to taste it. That's interesting as well. Nice and full-bodied. That's what I want and expect in a double IPA. It's a nice full coating mouthfeel, so there's something substantial there. Almost like you need to chew it, but not quite. It's, it's, okay, you have dry, you have sweet. Here's the middle. It is, mmm, it's on the dry side, but it's got some sweetness there. I like that as well. I like a full-bodied, with some sweetness, you know, to a double IPA. That's just, if I had my preference, that's how I would like my double IPAs. Boy, that head is holding in there, and it's got a nice, you know, dense microphone surface. As far as flavor, I am tasting the biscuity, bready malt, and there is definitely hot bitterness there. It doesn't, I don't see the IBUs, but it's definitely there and it hangs in there, but it's not one of those, it's the last thing that it leaves you with. Can't, I can't name 
all the flavors I'm getting there, but I am getting some traditional, you know, citrus flavor, hop flavors. So it's, I'm not doing a good job at describing this. Now, do I like it? Number one. And number two, would I get it again? And number three, if I would get it again, how soon would I get it? And number four, if I would get it again and how soon would I get it, how much would I get? No, I forget it. Let me just let you know. In the world of double IPAs, it's not a favorite. It's not one I would reach for again quickly. There are many other double IPAs that are on my favorites list. Um, I wouldn't turn it down. If they had it on tap at a, at a beer pub that I went to, and I may get that again, but it's not one I'm gonna go out and get a, a four, I don't know if it comes in four or six packs, but I don't think I'd run out and grab this. I do recommend trying it because again, as with any beer, one person's favorite beer is another person's not favorite beer. Anyway, this is Mission Brewery's Shipwreck Double IPA, and this is Fred for 5ED over and out.